Southeast summer means cookouts and other backyard fun and also lots of guests. So we've asked Carter Oosterhuis, the host of Carter Can on HGTV, to show us how to expand our living space into the outdoors. Good morning. Good to see you, pal. Good to see you, too. All Thanks right. for having me. This looks all very inviting and very really inviting. terrific. Harry, I'm going to change your life. You know why? Because outdoor space is where it's at in the summertime. It's got to be. It, it, it really is. You know, it's really about the barbecues, the summertime, friends, family, inviting your guests over, but having the space outdoors. Yeah. If you don't have the space, they don't want to hang out outdoors. So what I have here is a nice little setup. What you want to do is really blur that line between the indoors right. and the outdoors. Because, the because so often, I mean, we think outdoors and you go to the outdoor furniture store yeah. and you get a folding chair. Right. This is so much more than it's that. It's so much more, especially in the last couple of years. It's really progressed it was as far as bringing the outdoors in, really taking those elements that you have, the, the style, your personal right. taste, right. outdoors, and make it inviting and comfortable for your friends. For instance, like this couch right. that we're sitting on right now. I actually have the same sofa at home. Yeah. Uh, back up in Traverse City, Michigan. Okay. All types of elements up there, weather-wise. Uh, it's from Heather Road, and uh, it's made from a synthetic uh, fibers, as far as the, the band, but it's also made from teak, uh, teak frame. Sure. And it's plantation grown, so it's right. very eco-friendly as okay. well. Okay, But right. it's very durable, too. That would be the question, because you're in Traverse City, which is way up <laughs> yeah, there, exactly. right? How do, does this stuff hold up? Uh, well, actually, this fabric right here is made from Sombrella, so right. it's an outdoor material. Okay. But what I do, uh, you know, in the springtime, take the sofa outside, right. bring it out there. The cushions, they will come in if it rains, but the rest of the summer, the That's whole smart. thing yeah. stays outside until the winter comes, and then I'll bring it back in. But I like what you did also. There's a little kind of a coffee table thing working right. here. Yeah. You've got your Japanese lanterns. Yes, the China balls. I mean, yeah. this little string right here costs about $25 on Amazon, yeah. so it's very cheap. So if you're not a master electrician, you don't want to pull up, put up lights that are going to stay up for years. You want to just string some up like this. Very inexpensive. You can see we have drapes behind, but even uh, we have floor lights or lamps that we right. brought it for, uh, again, very inexpensive. Something sure. that you might not think that you're going to put outside. Right. And we did. So I like this whole idea of taking the living room, moving yeah. it outside. Making another People space. will hang out there forever. You got some cool lighting and sure. stuff like that. Don't forget the citronella candles. Yes, those, yeah. those work, especially those, with the mosquitoes. Exactly right. But All right. we also have more spaces. Now, you know, honestly, dining space is key. If you can have two dining spaces in your home, again, you're you're really opening up, adding square footage to your home if you had a dining space outside. Right. Just, again, this is also from Heather Road. It's a teak table. Now, yeah. teak, of course, is used in boats, so it's extremely, tr it's a tropical hardwood. It can last forever. Last forever. You yeah. know, oil it every once in a while. But we've added some placements. We've added a lot of color. Mm -hmm. Again, make it inviting for yeah. your guest. And, I have some of this stuff, and I would say the the, the, the key words are you need to oil it yeah. and you need to clean it. Yes. Because well, you, or you have that nice patina look, yeah. which some people <laughs> like and some people don't. Yeah. You know. So, but again, it, it's really about durability, lasting outside. And trust me, if you have a dining table outside, it's going to make all the difference. It's yeah. fantastic. People we use will ours just all gravitate to it and stay out there for hours exactly. and hours and exactly. Hours. And that's why you have your lights yeah. too, so you, you can stay your, out later at night. To party on. All yeah. right. Now, what'd you do over here? Uh, the last thing which we have is a cabinet. You know, people aren't sure what kind of cabinets they should bring outside. I found this on Amazon as well. Very inexpensive. It's on casters, so it is mobile. Oh, it has that's a few good. different shelves. Right. Of course, we have some doors inside here with more shelves. So whatever you want to put away, whether it's plates, whether it's dishes, whether it's utensils, whatever that may be, this is a perfect thing with a lot of surface area to work with Right. for a little bar. Yeah. You can have that little summer afternoon cocktail. And the thing is, I think you, you, you can do some shopping. You can go on these different yeah. places. You don't have to necessarily spend a four Exactly. Although all of this looks really cool. Looks really cool and it's extremely durable and it's extremely eco-friendly as well. Like we said, plantation grown teak and the synthetic fiber that's not going to fade uh, and it's going to last for a really long time. Very cool looking stuff. Yeah. You know what though? You have the confidence to say, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that, I'm yes. going to do that. We'll just follow your example then. Why not? I, I, I appreciate that. I right, really appreciate it. Carter Osterhaus, thank you very much. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.